Let's get started in enabling PayPal in OpenCart. In the dashboard, we're going to go over on the left menu and click on Extensions, and then the Extensions option once more. Then, under Choose Extension Type, select Payments from the drop-down menu. You'll see a section titled Recommended, and listed under there will be PayPal Checkout Integration that comes out of the box in OpenCart. Go ahead and download this extension by clicking on the Download icon to the far right, as shown here. We'll wait a few seconds for that to download. You'll notice this circle loading icon spinning here. Once that loading icon completes, we will actually go on the left menu once more and click on extensions and once again select payments from the drop down. And this time around, the PayPal option will be displayed under the payments section below here titled PayPal checkout integration highly recommended. And we can see that it is currently disabled. So let's go to the right side and first install it by clicking on this green button here. Once that's installed, click on the edit button with the pencil icon right next to it. Here you will see the splash screen for the sandbox or production onboarding. Make sure the authorization type is on automatic so that you don't have to copy and paste any credentials and that the environment matches the website that you are working with. So use sandbox if you will try your sandbox PayPal account first or leave it on production if you are enabling this on your production site. I'll change it to sandbox for this video guide. We can click on connect to be redirected to PayPal's onboarding flows. First, type your PayPal email address and it will check that an account exists. And then type in your password and click on log in. Lastly, we can click on the button that says return to your store. It will have your store name here. That will make the new tab close and your open cart page will reload. Here you see all the options that this extension provides. You should see that the status of this payment extension was automatically set to on, so that's correct. Let's look at all the options. Starting with general, we can click here. There aren't a lot of options to change here, but let's click on all settings to view some. Make sure the status is on. And for debug logging, let's change it to on so that we can collect logs to help with any future troubleshooting. Now we simply wanna make sure that the country is set to the correct one as well as the currency settings. These settings you will most likely already have set, but if it's your first time with this extension, just ensure that they are configured accurately. Most of the rest of these options either already have our best practice settings applied or they are open cart specific and not PayPal specific, so we can leave them as is, but you are more than welcome to look them over and modify them to your website's needs. Now, this is very important for every section that we make a modification. Scroll to the top and don't forget to click on the save button at the top right here. Let's just click on it now. You see the successful notification up top there, great. Moving on to the next section, let's click on buttons. PayPal has worked with OpenCart as our partner to make the default options our best practice settings. So that applies to all of the settings that you see here, as well as the rest of the settings in different button locations, such as the buttons on the cart page and on the product page. You can see a preview of how they will look like here. For example, for the cart page, it will show a mock-up of the cart totals and the checkout button here, and will show you how the current PayPal buttons will look like on this page. And if you go to checkout, you'll see the respective preview here. The button settings, like how it's aligned and the shape and colors, are all here for you to change if you want. And you can click on all settings to get even more in depth and decide which alternative payments you want displayed if the customer is detected to be in the local region. All these I will leave just as is with the best practice settings. And you can do the same with the cart page. Here are some developer settings specific to OpenCart and some specific to PayPal's button shape, for example. And it will update the previewer. So if you change this here, you'll see in real time how the button will look then on your site. You can do that to the rest of the settings as well. Same for the product page, it's all the same. All of this is pre-enabled and activated. Next, let's click on the Google Pay tab here. This one is the exact same concept. You have all the settings that you can change here. You can also look at what the cart page looks like and the product page and also adjust those settings. Now for this section, it does not come pre-enabled. So to enable this, you'll want to click here where it says off and it will switch to on. The last step for this section is to ensure you click on the save icon at the top right if you made any modifications. There it goes. Next, let's click on Apple Pay. Once again, the best practice settings are shown here. You can click on other page views and settings here as well. Here is the cart view and the respective settings and the product page settings. Here is a preview here with the settings for that page and it's all the same as the previous section. Let me go back to the checkout here. Now for this one, we must enable it as it's not on by default. Let's turn the status on here. The following are the two final big steps that need to be done to complete enabling Apple Pay. And the first one involves downloading the Apple Pay domain association file here and then uploading it on your own website on a specific location. And the second thing will be to register your domain in your PayPal account under the Apple Pay settings. 
So starting with the first one, you can download that specific file by clicking here, and it must be uploaded to this specific relative directory path shown here. Now this extension was designed in a way where you can also just allow the extension to upload the file for you, and that would be this button here, download and host. So that's what we're gonna do, and you will see how simple and quick it happens. Let me go ahead and click on it now. And there it is. You will see the successful message here as it's been successfully uploaded and hosted for you all right there with just one click so that you don't have to worry about manually doing this important step. Let's complete the final step and register your domain within your PayPal account. Log into your PayPal business account and at the top right, hover over your name and click on account settings. Then on the far left menu, scroll until you find the payment methods option and click on that. Find the Apple Pay option listed to the far right and click on manage Apple Pay. Here you will be redirected to a page where you may have some domains listed or you may see a blank, but now we can go ahead with the steps to add a domain where your open cart website is hosted so that Apple Pay payments can work. Go ahead and click on add domain. You will place your qualified domain name here and you should follow these steps to download and host this file at this specific location on your website. But remember, we chose to have the extension host this for us so that we can actually skip these steps and simply go to the last button of register domain. For sandbox mode, adding the URL will always work irrespective if the file is located in the right location or not. So please keep that in mind and make sure that for production, it gets added correctly. We can return to our open cart settings page where we were at and we have already made sure that this is set to on and now we can click on the save button at the top. Moving on, we can click on advanced cards. Same deal as the previous sections. Here is your preview of how the card form will look like and your optional settings on the right side. Of course, you always have even more detailed settings here, such as 3D secure behavior that you are welcome to adjust, but we're gonna keep everything as is for now. And we already have this as on by default, so I don't need to change anything myself. Just make sure to still click on the save button if you modified any settings. Moving on to the pay later messaging section, I'm just gonna give a quick demo on this page how you can preview how our messaging can look like on a website with different colors and options. The first thing that you can check here is how it will look like on a website in dark mode, for example. You can see that the text becomes unreadable here, so you'll wanna change that if your website has a really dark background. Otherwise, let me change it back and we can also see the desktop view here and it will update the preview of our messaging. Go back to mobile view and we have different sections of a website that you can edit. So let's open up one section here and you have different options to modify our messaging. Let me change the logo type to monogram just as an example and it will immediately update the preview over here now. You see our logo doesn't say PayPal anymore, it shows the monogram. Let me go and switch it back and close this. So you have many options to choose from and saving these will change how our messaging is displayed on your site. If you're a developer or understand some OpenCart specific options, we can now click on Pay Later Messaging Advanced here. Here are some selectors that you can determine whether the messaging will be displayed and if they will be inserted before or after the div contents. Once again, these are more technical options that you can completely disregard if you want to. You can just leave the ones that OpenCart has pre-configured for you. You have the option to modify the product and homepage as well. Lastly, let's click on the Order Statuses tab. All of these options listed here are OpenCart specific, and they have to do with what you want to determine the label phrasing for a specific OpenCart action that has occurred. So for example, for a completed status in an OpenCart order, this says you want to label it as complete. Pretty straightforward, right? You have denied and failed and all the rest. Some merchants may prefer the term processing for completed orders or for refunds, they may prefer the term canceled or any other discrepancies. So OpenCart allows you to change it to your liking. Once again, these are all open cart specific settings and nothing that will affect your payment options with customers. So if you do modify any of these, just remember to click on the save button at the top right. And that's it. You have now successfully enabled PayPal in open cart.